So you have to start now, ladies. Why, why do I have to start? This is your question, first question. I think... Um, Since I'm the senior actor, you know? Yeah, you're the senior one. <laughs> you're the senior one. <laughs> okay. So you have to ask me, because I'm the senior actor. Do you think star children, do they have like upper hand when they come to the industry? No, they don't have an upper hand, but they have protection. And what is the only upper hand that they would have is that they're always in the view of everybody around. Like we grow up with everybody, so everybody knows that we are around. Mm. They know how, what we look like and what we are like and how much training we've done because they're all friends, they come home, etc., etc. But the downside to that is that a lot of them also don't take you seriously because they think you're like a bacha or, you know, someone's your aunt, someone's your uncle and someone's something and so what happens is that there is also that element the, the the professional element that might just go away also there's not much that grows under a banyan tree okay especially if you if you are someone's son or daughter who has been ridiculously successful you know um then there's always going to be comparisons so to find your own path and to find your own identity is difficult it's, it's not only the film industry in India that has this star son, star daughter thing. I think even in Hollywood, where there's Jennifer Aniston, J Angelina Jolie, the biggest actors there, the biggest stars, Robert Downey Jr., they're all star sons and star daughters, you know? It's, it's, so there's always a mix and match of both. So I think that's always going to be there. You can only, like, survive if you have a certain... if you have something, if you have that X factor. Mm. I think so. Were you surprised? With you? Yeah. No, but what really surprised me was that uh, you were very open with me as working. You didn't look like a lot of people, I feel like, especially when, you know, you come from your sort of background. You, there's always uh, the film background I'm talking about, like the films you've done and stuff. They always have preconceived notions, you know, about what an actor like me would be. So what, that was nice. That was refreshing. Yeah. So I was not... Actually, I was surprised a bit. I just thought that you're going to be, you know, because everybody calls you a fashionista and you're really fashion conscious about, about what you wear and everything. But you hate mirrors, yeah? You hate seeing yourself... Uh, in mirrors? Mirror. Yeah. That was I don't think everybody needs to know that. Yeah. No, it's fine. I think it's fine. You don't like seeing yourself too much no. in front of the mirror. When it takes away from being an actor. Okay, I have a question. I have a certain technique while I'm working on a film. I want, I want to know your technique and I want to see if it's similar. Do all actors have a similar technique? So can you tell me how? I think every actor has their own process. I really, I don't think so that any two actors have the same, same process. Like my thing is I'm very organic. I, of course, I prepare for my character. Um, or as Meryl Streep says, I don't know, it just happens, yeah. <laughs> it just happens. Are you comparing yourself to Meryl Streep De Niro? No, I'm saying, saying she, <laughs> Can I say that on your Facebook page? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, like, I, I don't know what's my process. I think, of course, it comes to me naturally when I'm on... I mean, I'm in front of the camera, but there's a process I prepare for my character. I, I see um, what region he belongs to and try and take that accent and uh, what he wears and try and make a little bit of backstory about it. But I really take care of while preparing for my character is my relationship with my other actors. Yeah. Like how am I with my father, how am I with my, with my friends, like for instance Kai yeah. so, so I made this whole background story of you, yeah. How we all met. That's the first thing, yeah. like thing, exercise yeah. you do in acting school, right? Yeah. Because you're showing you guys are best friends, so you share a different rapport with your yeah. friends and your family. So that's my own process, but eventually I take everything with me along on set, and when I'm in front of the camera, then I, I, just, I just react to the situation. Yeah. I don't, I don't really put like, so much, yeah, like. I don't plan too much. Yeah. What, what's, what's your process? I'm extremely meticulous. And, um, but at the same time, I, I guess I'm spontaneous and organic about certain things. I don't like to do the same thing, but I'm very meticulous before every film. I'm a girl from JVPD scheme who's, you know, not been too much to the interiors of the country to like start working in films. And for some strange reason, everybody wants to cast me as a small town girl. So there has to be a lot of preparation for it to be convincing. So I have to prepare. It's not. I am not, I, I'm, unfortunately for me, I am not rooted enough. And for me to get that, I need to figure out a method and to prepare. And, you know, I, I, 
I need that because I I need to prepare because I don't have any other tools to kind of be as organic mm. as you are. So yes, tell us about your about your theatre days. Your um, so I wanted to direct and write. Mm. I still do not wanted to. That's past tense. And um, when my I was sent away to study, um, I decided to do theatre as my subject, main subject, theatre arts. And I studied uh, Brecht, Arto, Edward Gordon Craig, Stanislavski, everything. And uh, I really loved it a lot. And I directed a lot. I, I studied to be behind the camera. I did not, not even behind the camera, behind the scenes, not even films. So what do you like more now, like directing or acting? Um, I honestly, you know, I, I read in a book um, uh, a beautiful line I, uh, which said that acting in theatre is like performing a, an operation with a scalpel and acting in movies is performing an operation with a laser. Um, and the minute details and the subtlety and the emotion and the real emotion that you can put in, in cinema as opposed to theatre is ridiculous. And uh, so right now I'm quite passionate about acting. It's, it's a craft that I'm exploring, which I think is, which is really giving me great joy. But eventually my main passion is to write and direct. I know that you want to direct, Raj. Yeah, one day, not like, but I have no plans as such. You don't? No, yeah, I have no, eventually, I would love to direct one day. Mm -hmm. My kind of films and maybe there will be a story that I really want to tell. Mm -hmm. So then I will direct. But I have no plans that after 10 years I will direct. How do you choose your films? Like when you when you came in, I I've seen almost all your films except for City Lights. I, what I've noticed in your movies, especially, is that there is always you're always playing characters which have a lot of conflict. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to know is that a, is that a focus that you look at when you're looking at? No, I think these are just character which fascinates me. I like character with which have shades, you know. Mm -hmm. um, which are not only like one-sided, like a queen, it has, Louis was a small part, but I saw a lot of shades in it, I saw a lot of scope in it as an actor. But my process of choosing a script is just the story and my character. I, I read all my scripts, I, I hate narrations. Narrations, yeah, right? I can't Me sit too. In yeah. So I read my script, I read all my scripts. If I'm, I think this is the one which I should do and I read it again to be really sure yeah. about it. And then I just do it. I just, I just, then I don't think too much about it, like who's directing it or who's producing it. Because I see it as, as a film, that what I can contribute to it. Do you think, um, in our industry, we're not talking about any other industry, you know, a lot of people say, say that theatre is an actor's medium and filmmaking is a director's medium. But do you agree with that statement? Not really. I think if you have horrible actors, you really can't make a good film. Because they are the one who are actually, you know, portraying your story. Showcasing the your one, vision. Yeah, they are the one who are emoting for you. Yeah. Unless you make a really experimental film where you, the actors are just standing and then say your line, Main yaha aya tha, and then cut to other actors saying, then it doesn't matter. But if you're making a, a film, which is like a so-called our storytelling and, and Hindi films, then you need actors. What I've seen of you is that you improvise a lot. Hmm. And uh, which I think is quite brilliant. Yeah. But do you think that um, certain times what happens is that what you do as an actor yeah. adds more to a film than what a director could give you. With me what happens is if I'm not comfortable with a line, with a yeah. particular line yeah. and I know that you know because I believe, I very strongly believe that I know my character the most. A writer has written it, it's good, he's written it with his own sensibilities but when I'm playing it, when I'm living it, I know him more than anyone else. I know what he will say and what he won't say. I know what, how will he react. Yeah. So that way, I'm, I'm very possessive about my character. Good. Okay, tell me, like, uh, how important do you think are your co-actors when you're performing? Well, I think it's extremely important. I, I've said this in every interview. You are as good as your co-actor. Hmm. I agree to that. Yeah. I think you can only the, acting is about reacting. So if your co-actor is not good, you're screwed. Mind my, my French, <laughs> but you are. Uh, it's so important to create chemistry and to create timing with the person because if your timing is off with somebody, the scene just falls flat. And it's so important to create chemistry with anyone. You know, and so my co-stars are very important. First, I choose films for my script and actor, uh, character and then I choose films where I feel I can learn something from my co-stars. I can react somewhere 
like correctly. So you guys just make me better. It's a mutual feeling. You guys just make me better. Asha? Trust me. Okay, yeah. So we were talking about this uh, being a star son or star daughter. How mm -hmm. much it helps? Would you think it helps? I think it helps. I think it helps getting your first film. Then eventually, I think your work speaks for your for yourself. You think? But I think it helps in getting your first film, first break. It took me five years to get my first film. But then you got it with Sanjeev Bansali. Because I auditioned my ass off. I'm not an easy person to like. But I'm not saying like maybe your case. But I'm sure I'm just telling you that you you had an access to Sanjeev Bansali. Like yeah. you could have gone to him and say, or somebody. I'm just saying like. There's some advantage, of course. You can't deny there's no. No, advantage. no. I'll tell you how I got to Sanjay Bansali. I'll, I'll tell you very well. I came back. I was 17. I said I want to assist someone. So dad's like, "Who do you want to assist?" I said, "I want to assist Sanjay." Hmm. So he's like, "No." Hmm. So I said, "Why not?" He's like, "You want you." He's like, uh, "Vidhu is making a film. Go there. Adi is making a film. Go there. I know these people. I don't know Sanjay. I've never worked with him. Just go and you know work with anybody." I, he's like, do, "I'm not letting you work with him." I was like, why not? He said, like, I don't know them. I'm I'm not sure what's going to happen. I know that when you're with friends of mine, I feel like Subhashji was making a film at that time. He was making Kisna or something like that. So he's like, all these people are making films. Why don't you go and assist? You know, you learn so much, and I know them. You've they've seen you grow up. You'll be protected, etc., etc. So sorry I to cut you, but you know that's what I'm saying. That you had options. I had go options. Go, 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 go yeah. He's like, like being, a, being an outsider, you just can't go anywhere. You have like, where should I go? No. So ah. I was like, I don't want to do that. Obviously, I'm also very stubborn. So he's like, "Who you want to work with, Sanjay?" I was like, "Yeah, I want to work with Sanjay." So he's like, "Then you have to figure it out yourself." A lot of people ask me this question that yeah. you know, star system and star son. So you know, personally, that's I really strongly believe in. There's no harm in you know, if somebody like suppose if I'm a businessman, if my son or daughter wants to be a business person, I will of course help them out. Why yeah. not? There's no harm in that. You no, know, I just feel bad when there's when somebody is so bad, somebody is so bad, and I still have to see. Him or her in 25 films just because he's somebody's son or daughter, hmm. then I feel like no, no, that's not fair. Yeah. You know, if I would have, if he would have been an outsider, two films and you'd be like, bye bye. There are thousand other people waiting to you know act. I don't that's, think I don't think yeah. the industry is that forgiving though, unless the father has like tons of money and they're constantly producing films on the person. अच्छा, I'm I'm sure some fathers have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What do you think? How important are your Or it's not your like an actor's looks. Is it like the looks or the talent? Which one is more important? Um, I think talent is important for sure. I think looks can come in the way. If you are too beautiful, then you you are judged. People don't think of you as anything but beautiful. Like I remember being asked a question recently, saying that when are you going to do a non-glamorous role without makeup? I said 60% of my films are done without makeup from the time of Delhi Six, including our film Dolly yeah. Ki Dolly. I don't get cast in those glamour roles where I'm like wearing, showing my midriff and dancing. So you've done that in a couple of films. In one or two yeah, films, yeah, but I don't yeah. like they never worked actually for me. So I think in both ways, and I think if somebody does not, which has been completely misinterpreted. But the way I said it was very tongue in cheek, which I said in and uh, this thing I know where you're getting at, Raj. You're becoming like a <laughs> cheeky journalist. Um, uh, What did you say? I, I don't know. I, I, I just I feel that, yeah. I, no. Shut up. <laughs> I basically said that that if you if you he asked me does your Karan asked me do your looks come in the way? Hmm. And it was just a tongue in cheek way of answering. I was like, yeah, if people think you're too beautiful, then you can't act, and if people think you're not great looking, then you can really act. Hmm. And I wasn't trying to make a general statement. It was a foolish thing for me to say at that point because it's not. It doesn't hold true for anything. There are no rules or of regulations course. for anything. But at the same time, I I think it's true to a certain extent. I feel like, you know, if you're too beautiful, it comes in the way. And if you don't look so nice, you people think that you can't be a star. Hmm. I I don't. I don't know. I think Meryl Streep was too beautiful when she started, and she was. She is beautiful. Great. She, she was, was beautiful. I never spoke about actor. Meryl Streep. She's like one of my icons. No, I'm just She's saying. Yeah, I. So it's not planet. like if you're too beautiful, it comes in your way. You really believe that? Yeah. I Maybe think here so. in our country. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. In our country, it does. Yeah. To a certain extent, it does. Like yeah. you know, unless you're like in a cotton sari with no makeup, people just think you're not doing your job well. I'm not saying I'm the best actor on this planet, but I'm also not saying that I'm the worst. And. If uh, there is uh, doing a light romantic film and trying to make that convincing is more difficult, I think, 
than putting glycerine in my eyes and giving close ups. I agree. So it was not a general statement. It was not a general statement. It was not a general like statement. All good actors are not good. Like no, I didn't. Good. I said that just because you're not nice looking does not make you a good actor, and just because you're yeah. nice looking does not make you a bad actor. So there are no rules. That. Just because you're not conventionally beautiful does not make you this or that. You cannot. You cannot put. You cannot put people in slots. That's what I meant, and I should have said it like that. But because the the vibe of the show is such that. You know, I got carried away. Mm. That's what I meant. And if people were smart, they would have understood it, but they aren't. Mm. So, what do you think the fate of this film is going to be? Dolly. Hopefully, I think it uh, it will do really well. Yeah. Does that matter to you more than critical reception? I mean, I'm not. I mean, I think you're the wrong person to ask that because, <laughs> you know. No, I really respect our critiques. I I take them quite seriously. Not all of them, but yeah. Some of them, I think, I take them really seriously. Yeah. I respect what they say about my work. Yeah. But you know, eventually, it, it zeroes down to you know, you know what you have done. Like personally, I feel City Lights is my best work till date. Huh. But but everybody thinks Shahid is, because I know what I have gone through in City Lights. I know how much I felt and how much I was involved. But then, but then it it depends. You know. So I think you are your best critique. But then there are people who, who see you from the outside world and mm -hmm. who who judge you with what they see. So it matters to me. It matters a lot what they write about my performance. Yeah. Cool. What about you? I think I'm still getting work as a critic, so I love them. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I do. I mean, even for a f really like panned film like Players, mm. I, because of certain reviews, I still got another job. Um, but whether my films have done well or not, the people who've actually been on my side have been critics. Like I read every review because I know there'll be like two lines that might be negative or might be positive. But I know that a lot of the times, I know that a couple of people will be like, "She wasn't so bad," and you know maybe she needs to work on this, maybe she needs to work on that. And I, I, I like critics. I have no complaints <laughs> at all. Yeah. I read, I read reviews. I don't want to spend that kind of money. I know I'm sounding really mm -hmm. cheap because of the bags that I own, but I don't want to spend that kind of money and go watch a bad film. True, true. No, even I read all the reviews. If I plan yeah. to watch a film, I, I read the review first. Yeah. First, yeah, and then yeah. I'm just, I don't want to sit through it. Yeah, you know? it's important, and, yeah. Yeah. So it's please give us good reviews for Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, so I guess that's what it is with me begging. For good reviews, I think we should like go and promote our film so that we don't have to beg that much. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe make a good film so that we don't have. To we beg made that a good much. film. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we made a good film. <laughs> the meeting ground is your opportunity to eavesdrop on actors. What do actors talk about when they talk about acting? I hope you enjoyed listening to Raj Kumar and Sonam. Who else do you want to see on this? Talk back to me, and subscribe to Film Companion. Subscribe to Film Companion. Subscribe now. So serious, you guys. Uh, now, yeah. I love that. Wish she was. Is it a comedy film? Do you have to be like? Yeah, you have to. Seriously, it's a comedy. Subscribe now. <laughs>